Yo, you already know, man. Spray too much hand, man. We back, man. Consistent, man. You know what I'm saying? We every day. Nah, not every day, but we daily. You know what I'm saying? Daily. Look, why are you in the bathroom? I don't know, nigga. Watch the video. Do it matter where I'm at? Watch the video. So, look. Stop fucking with bums, bro. Stop fucking with bums. I, I just been scrolling on the gram today. I've been on Facebook today. I've been on app to app, and I ain't been seeing nothing but disappointments. These niggas must be lying to y'all women, bro. And these women must be lying to these niggas. And your own niggas must be lying to your niggas. Or to you. Stop fucking with bums, bro. Like I always say, 90% of the time niggas in your life is for their own personal gain. You cut off your helping hand to them, they're not gonna fuck with you. Women, stop settling for these bum ass niggas, bro. I can't say it. I, I can't I can't say it any different. Stop settling for these bum ass niggas. These niggas are bums. This is a different generation, bro. If you find a nigga that's on his shit, you find you one. But nine times out of ten, these niggas gonna be lying about their life. They're gonna be lying about what they got going on. They're gonna be lying about this. They're gonna be lying about how much money they got. They're gonna act like they're rich. They ain't got shit. They still living with their mama. They ain't got no car. They need to use yours. They want you to buy the food. They want you to buy their pack. They want you to da 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 da. They wanna flip your money. Stop fucking with these bum ass niggas, bro. Straight like that. I ain't even made this video to be 10 minutes long. I don't give a fuck about the minutes. I don't give a fuck about the streams. I just had to let y'all know, stop fucking with these bums. And to the niggas, stop fucking with these leeching ass women, bro. I had this girl ask me this dumb ass question, right? She gonna ask me, what do I bring to the table? What do I bring to the table? What do I bring to the table? Motherfucker, this... What do you got, bro? I don't have to explain what I got to the table, motherfucker. I got two cars. I got a crib. You know what I'm saying? One of my cars gonna be broke down. It don't matter. I got a job. I got a career job, nigga. I got ambition. I got goals, nigga. I'm a gentleman for the right one. So don't never ask me what I bring to the table. I ain't got to tell you that. You can see that when you come around me. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't got nothing. You ain't got no crib. You might got a whip. You might pay a phone bill and your car note. Okay, cool. But what you got? You gonna ask me what I bring? <laughs> Fuck out of here. All my flexed up kings, bro. All my flexed up niggas. You already know what it's like, bro. You already know. Nine times out of ten when the women around you, bro, is for their personal gains because they know they might be with you. You might buy them some food. You might... Here you go, take this for your little cash app, da, da, da. And like I say, bro, getting shit for your girl is not being a simp. Buying her food, buying her clothes, not being a simp. But you always should do shit for the right reasons, bro. Because she might be around you because she knows she'll get a bag off you. And she over there fucking broke ass Johnny. These women weird. Stop fucking with these bums, bro. It should be something that you come with or you don't come with. You got it or you don't. Either you can recognize a bum when you see one. Or you just gonna have to go through some shit with that person to find it out. Nigga, I know a bum when I see one. My helping hand is cut off. I don't help motherfuckers no more, bro. I gave motherfuckers chances. That's a story for another goddamn video. Know a bum when you see one. Stop hanging out with these bum ass motherfuckers, bro. Because I'm telling you, it ain't gonna do nothing but shorten your days trying to help other motherfuckers. Not even trying to help them. Just letting other bum motherfuckers fuck up what you got going on. Yeah. Recognize these motherfuckers. Matter of fact, I thought I was going to be done. I'm not done. Long live my mother, man. That's my mom right there. That's the pain of my mom. Y'all ain't never been in my room before. I ain't showing y'all this shit. But look. Women. If your nigga ain't going to work, he on the block all day. He hanging out with his niggas all day. He ain't got no job. He always trying to get some weed. He got time for you all the time, 24-7. Get rid of that nigga, bro. Or if you don't want to get rid of that nigga, hustle, motivate that nigga to get a hustle. 
If your nigga don't got no plan, bro, if he can't even see where him, if he can't even tell you what he want to do within the next five years, get rid of that nigga, bro. And if he tell you some bullshit that you know, you know what I'm saying, it's not going to make sense. Get rid of that nigga. All my niggas, if she don't got shit going for herself, get rid of her, bro. We are too old to be fucking with motherfuckers because they look good now, bro. We got priorities now. We got responsibilities now. We got shit to handle now. Just because you look good don't mean you got access to my life. I'm not impressed by that. I'm impressed by a motherfucker that really got something going. I'm impressed by a motherfucker that, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. So with that being said, Spade Team, we out.